Hello, welcome back to Blender Session Live. Today I will be showing you how I created this super child character, um, super blend, uh, whatever you want to call this child. So it's uh, created using Make Human app. Um, it's a separate app from Blender, but it's a really cool open source app. And now it's, a, it's actually available for Mac, Windows, and other system. <clears throat> so this is um, the result. It's actually really, really good in the latest update. Um, you just download it from Make Human, and let's try to create something like that very, very quickly. So the app is around 400 megabytes, I think, after you install it. So let's just uh, load. I'm currently downloading Blender 2.90. Oops, okay, it's already open. Make Human version 1.2 final okay let's go full screen so this is what you see when you first open it there's a the layout is really simple and you can easily follow this uh, you can turn on and off grid you can turn on wireframe like this um, let's try you can pick a gender age let's pick a character muscle weight as usual it says this is all very easy uh, you can quickly change this. Let's create like a like some kind of character in gender. Let's try it's like a hybrid gender. The height, the proportions. As long as it feels right, this is um, the race, African Asian Caucasians. Let's just mix a little bit. Of everything okay it seems okay I maybe I'm like a teenage age okay something like this and then the next thing you can do is to add clothing of course so with geometries we have a couple of filter tag this is everything that you have at the moment I think there's probably more um, yeah let's try and make like a casual looking person oh yeah you cannot have both uh, let's see I actually like this kind of like Super Mario Bros kind of character um, the shoes it's a little bit fancy there, but it's okay. Hat, don't need. And then you can go to like things like eyeballs. You can use low poly eyeballs. You can always replace the eyes. And the hair. There isn't much choice with the hair. Just go with this teeth. At least give like a base teeth. Topologies. Don't worry about that, I guess. Eyebrow is actually important. With this character, eyebrow, eyelash. Don't worry about eyelash, tongue. Yeah, maybe. Because you might give uh, like a, an animations, facial animations to this character. You can go to materials. Maybe give it like a female face. Okay, tune cartoony. Yeah, interesting. Let's try. Let's try this, and then we can pose the character. I haven't actually tried posing it myself. I give it a, a rig, game engine rig, and then I simply pick. A simple pose for our super uh, child character. Maybe we want it to fly. Okay, this is our expressions. We give it a little bit of facial expression. Just like a determine face okay animations I haven't tried 
we don't have animations rendering the rest we don't need to worry I just gonna save this as super child so it's safe and I want to export it as FBX for blender save it as super child as well now it's exporting hopefully it doesn't take too long now I'm gonna search for super child you got it just bring it into blender one I want to change the, the color of the clothes at some point go to file import FBX oh, okay and it stops again search super child drag and drop it into blender while well, in this mode import okay so we have our character and this one is actually you can simply export it as GLB for AR and then convert it to USDZ if you like the one that's uh, problem problematic is just the eyeballs and uh, also the skin maybe subsurface scattering skin is needed but the texture is all nice and correct and looks quite beautiful when you um, export it as GLB has a bit of normal net I don't need file save as super child I'm gonna try to actually give it a bit of subsurface scattering turn off the metallic it's a lot nicer with subsurface Yeah, it's not too bad. And if you want to render this out with a nicer background, maybe uh, with EV, a bit of ambient occlusion, maybe a little bit of bloom. The sky, for the sky, let's just give it a sky texture. Ni Nishita only works if you are using EV, uh, I mean cycles. So this is using Nishita sky texture. And the sun is really strong. I might need to play around with the like the filmic setting. But for now, I'm just going to use EV and use Hosek or Pretend for the light. So, like maybe sunset scene, create another light to behave as a sun. Yeah, but that's it's not. It's not bad. <laughs> so filmic, maybe where is it? Filmic color management, filmic high contrast or low contrast, and play with the exposure. And then you can perhaps render this out. This pose, maybe just the head need to be reposed a little bit. So select the armature, maybe pose with this guy. I want it to be at the front. Let's try this.
Yeah, looks better. Yeah, so this is our ultra man or ultra child or super child. I like the ultra name. Maybe just need to tweak the eyeballs. But other than that, it's, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Maybe the clothing, right? We, we can tweak the cloth. This is with a plain clothing. Mix color, mix shader, mix RGB. Maybe mix RGB. I don't know, I have to play around with this, I think. I think this is correct. Mix the color with multiplier. Or screen. Or color dodge. Okay, I think this might be the one. Okay. Okay, that's nice. So we have our character, and at this point, you want to add like a camera if you want to correctly do this. But we have a ca our camera here. We want to align active camera to view. Now we can properly frame our character, lock the camera to view, so we can move, rotate the camera. And with our camera by default, uh, what's that? 55, 50 millimeters, okay. 35, if you want a wider camera, so close up. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to show you maybe a little bit, little bit of cloud or something airplane would be nice. But in just a few uh, minutes, you created this character uh, thanks to Make Human and the, uh, the community of Make Human app. Uh, this is actually something that's been going going on for years. It's actually maybe pretty close to uh, Unreal character. With, but Unreal one has a nice hair, right? nicer hair, it's maybe nicer everything with the shader, but it's very, very similar in terms of um, the, the process. So maybe the next uh, is maybe try to create like a, a comic books or stories or even like animations and a full movie scenes and then turning it into AR or VR, like as a con, uh, if you want to publish it as something. But if you're happy, you know, you can, you can actually just be happy with this and render this out um, or print it out maybe as a 2D or 3D. All right, so there you go. That's how you created um, this kind of character using Make Human and Blender. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.